Hello everybody, welcome to another tutorial on BitHawk. In this video I'm going to start to go through the series exploring in more detail all the pad modes and the controls around the pads. We introduced them in the first video but that was a quick uh, run through. So as we explained in the previous video we have 16 pads. Each pad corresponds to a track and indeed we are in track mode at the moment. So let's see what we can load into a pad. So let's click on the pad and we are in pad mode as I um, uh, showed here because it is highlighting on the pad button. So let's click on the browser and let's go to uh, drum elements. Let's go to a drum kit and um, loads uh for example a big room yeah that sounds good let's click on the load button so as you can see we have a big room drum kit on uh, this pad and it is them and the reason and the way to see if it is a drum kit let's decrease the volume as well is to go on the pitch where you can see uh for the particular pad a keyboard and you can change the pitch for that particular sound attributed to that pad and you can hear it is a drum kit okay so here we have uh, on the first pad a drum kit next let's click on the uh, next pad let's click on the browser again instead of going to drum elements let's click on drum loops and let's choose the first one for example and let's click load and exit in this case on the second pad we have loaded a drum loop so let's click and hold and indeed what you can do is hold on that pad and press on the second as well okay Let's choose a third pad and let's go to the browser again. And this time again on the EDM, let's choose instrument and let's choose for example, keys. And the keys, let's choose, I don't know, a party saw and let's load that. So on the third pad, now we have an instrument. Again, if we go on the pitch mode, we can ha use the keyboard to change the pitch for the particular pad sound. Again, let's have fun. Let's hold the second pad and play with the other, the first and the third. Okay, perfect. Let's choose a fourth pod as well. This time, instead of uh, loading from the browser, we are going to the record button here through under the track uh, section. As you can see, you see a meter here, okay, for the microphone. So I'm going to click record and record uh, uh, my voice. Test. Click on stop. And let's leave that recorded as recorded free. You can change the name of, as you as you prefer. Let's click save. Now, as you can see, we have a recording here. Test. Test. It's uh, a bit slow to start with. So let's go to the sample. As you can see, the start, this is the waveform for the sample that we have recorded. So what we can do is move the start of the sample a little bit more closer to when I say test. Test, 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 test. That sounds better. So again, on the first part, we have a drum kit. On the second, we have a drum loop. On the third, we have an instrument. And on the fourth, we have a recording that we have just done. So let's try and have fun. Perfect. So and you can continue like that. And the reason that you have different sounds for uh, and different instruments, etc. for each part is that you use those, of course, to compose your pattern and eventually your song. So next, let's go to the volume mode. 
So this mode um, allows you to trigger for the part that you have selected. So for example, let's go to the party so you click on volume here you can play the same uh, note but a different volume so for example this would be the lowest as you can see um and there is a number which gives you the value in terms of volume okay up to 127 which is the max volume and this is useful if you don't have a MIDI controller or an external controller and you want to trigger a particular sound at a different uh, volume. Next, we have the pitch, which we have already seen in terms of changing the pitch uh, of the sound that is assigned to the active pad. Other option that you can find here, you can move up and down an octave. So, for example, down. up up again okay perfect you can change the scale so for example at the moment we are in chromatic but we can say we click on hold on scale give me a minor now uh, as you can see some of the keys on the keyboard have disappeared grayed out and this is a C minor and the reason that this is a C minor is because the key here is set to C, which I can also change. So the moment is on C minor. And of course you can use these to uh, play melodies in the scale that you desire. <clears throat> Next we have a mute function, which should become useful if you want to mute a particular track as it is playing when it is recorded in your pattern and it's very simple you just click on it and an m will appear here okay you can continue to do so by the way one thing i forgot to mention under the patch is that you have a modulation here above which control your filter and vibrator rate depending on the instrument so for example let's choose an instrument and uh, let's go back to pitch and uh, I click on some notes and I change the modulation. And the values of the modulation are recordable so you can change those as you record your button. So we have seen the pad mode, the volume mode, pitch and the uh, mute mode as well. So next uh, we have an erase button. If you click on it, nothing happens. But if you choose a part, click on the erase and hold that button and click on a part, it gives you uh, a set of options of what you want to do. For example, you can say clear all events. And if you record, recorded some notes as part of your pattern, uh, those will disappear. Again, if you choose click erase, you can choose all MIDI CC if you have recorded some. Or you can choose to clear the pad. Again, if you choose to clear the pad, that instrument will disappear. So let's try. As you can see, this is now empty. Okay, next we are going to have a look at the select button. And the select button is very straightforward. You click and hold, and then you click on a pad. And that pad will not sound as you click. And this is useful if you are recording. For example, you want to move from one track to the other uh, without test producing the sound next we have a repeat button so you click on it and then click uh, as you hold you click on uh, a pad and the note is repeated based on the level of grid which is established down here okay perfect so uh, we have seen these buttons uh, in the first video and you have an undo button and redo button so if you want to undo uh, the last action and you could you click on that you can redo the next one you can decide to quantize or not on the grid that you establish here okay you can have a groove you click and hold and move up and down okay you can have a tempo here which you click and hold and move up and down as again as uh, this control for the groove and you can also 
click several times on the top to establish the tempo based on uh, how frequently or how fast you click on the top button. Here you have your transport button as we have seen in the first video. So play, stop and record. All right, okay, so I'm going to stop here. In the next video, we are going to have a look at the track um, options in more detail. I hope you enjoy. See you next time. Bye.